My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing a review of these Trail Chasers ground markers. These are pretty cool and it's going to help with our parking lot situation. It's basically a galvanized spike nail with a little whisker on top. Uh, they have different color options. I have purchased this on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description down below. But basically, we've got 25 of these little markers. We run a business out of our home uh, location. So we've got employee parking here. We've got equipment, trailers, and trucks that park here. And it can get kind of chaotic. We've got a gravel parking area. And so I wanted to buy these and use these in order to help differentiate parking stalls. Uh, we've got a spot that's carved out for three cars. And sometimes you can only fit two vehicles in there because of the way people park. So. I'm going to divide these out. A uh, typical parking stall is nine foot by eighteen foot, so we'll take, you know mark these out at that dimension and uh, make it very visual of where cars should park and basically where the line is at. And then also we've got a spot where we park the trailers against a fence, and it's on the passenger side of where the fence is, so it's kind of a blind uh, back in. So I'm going to put these markers along the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, 12 feet off the fence line should give us enough room of a buffer to where that tell of the trailer as it's coming in it doesn't hit the fence um, but once you see those markers pop up next to your tire you know you're kind of in the right spot so um, let's go take a look at this and see how easy these are to install so i think the hardest part of this project is honestly measuring out where these need to go and putting it in the right spots like i said along the fence here we ended up going 12 feet off the fence and I've got these spaced out every 20 feet. This section was pretty easy to put in the spikes. We did have one of them that wanted to bend on us, but other than that, all of them went in the ground fairly easily. In the employee parking area, we've got uh, two markers that are gonna go in the middle to mark the beginning and end of the parking line. And uh, had a lot more difficult time nailing them in here. Uh, the stakes kept bending. When I searched for these on Amazon, I was looking for a galvanized stake, and I'm looking at the package here and it shows a non-rust aluminum stake. So this is a lightweight stake. I don't know if you could upgrade these and put a galvanized stake in. Uh, the uh, whiskers are very high quality looking. It looks like a stainless steel or something like that that holds them onto the stake. So if you could find a stake with the same diameter, I think that would be ideal and you might have a better, better look. These do have uh, kind of some ribs into the side of the stake that I'm assuming are there to help keep it from pulling out. Um, we do, from time to time use the skid steer to kind of level this back out so we'll see how these hold up longevity wise to run a skid steer over them running trucks and trailers over them um, but uh, really easy install really great marker design and i think it's going to solve the problem another option we could have done is we could have thrown paint down um, but i know in a matter of a few weeks or a few months that paint would be just completely disappeared and be hard to you know keep on top of so these markers i hope last uh, at least six months or a year or maybe multiple years uh, without having to reinstall them. And we do got a pack of 25, so we've probably only used half of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 14. So we've got 13 left. We did have about two broken ones, bent ones I should say, that we could not install. So I guess plan on if you've got some really hard packed ground. If you're putting these in dirt, no problem at all, but we, we're putting them in hard compacted base material, uh, three quarter inch minus. And we've got a, some larger riprap underneath the top layer. And so once you hit some of those bigger stones, there just was no give. And the, this little stake was not going through there. Um, we've got some instructions on the back here. Pro tip, our lightweight stakes are great for carry, but sometimes the ground is harder than anticipated to use. A quarter inch by 12 inch drill bit, carbide preferred on a cordless drill to pre-drill the ground hole. This will make placement much easier and faster. And it says these are used to mark your trail or survey point. Sim simply slide one of the whiskers on the enclosed stakes through the custom design bracket of a six inch whisker as shown. Then fan the whiskers to spread them out to imitate natural foliage. Push or hammer the combined unit, a trail chaser, into the ground. I would recommend it. The stakes are not as quality as I would have liked to see, but so far I'm happy. We'll do an update in the future if uh, we have issues with this, but I really don't suspect that. So. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage, and we'll see you on the next one.